guys, how you doing? Hope you're good. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions and you are watching a vlog. Today is the 12th of April. The UK is free, non-essential retail is open again and uh, I'm going to make full use of my day off today and hit up a Lego store, at least one, um, and maybe some other shops that have been closed as well throughout lockdown. So I cannot wait to get going. It's gonna be a long day. A lot of driving, but uh, yeah, hopefully find some retired sets maybe. And I think it's double VIP points at the Lego store as well. So yeah, we'll just have a look. I think I'm gonna go to Watford, head up there, and then uh, yeah, just kind of see where the day takes us. So let's get going. Definitely wasn't expecting all this snow this morning. This is mad. So it took, it took a little bit longer than I expected, but it's still about 15 minutes till it's still open. So hopefully we have some cool retired stuff. So these are the promos, you get uh, 75 pounds for them to get the Monster Book and Monster promo, which is pretty cool, but I don't think there's any kind of part stuff I'm going to want. Um, and then you get 50 pounds, you get the Lego City helicopter and the Jago polygrags, spend over 100, get the Earhart promo in those, and then uh, spend over 150, get the ice skating rink as well. Um, don't know if I'll be getting any of those, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I hope to get to uh, pick up all the stuff, hope they've got some cool stuff. Space shuttle is actually sick. I know you're a lot of shit to the uh, the NASA sets, but that actually does look pretty cool to be fair. So I know I said I wouldn't be getting any of those promos, but uh, oops, my bad. Um, I think I'm done here. There's uh, John Lewis is actually permanently closed, so I can't go in there and have a look. Um, so I think now I'm going to head to Legoland and see if they are selling any of the promos because I know they sometimes do that and just uh, have a look at some of the exclusive stuff. But they've only had like three Monkey Kid sets in there and now everything is online. So Monkey Kid can't be selling well, which, which isn't good for me. So that's not good, but uh, yeah, that's a look at that. Avengers Tower. So I was the plan of uh, actually fancy my chances at Westfield. Now I really don't hope for much. Um, I wasn't like the dining and stuff for waffles, uh, and I think this could be also up here. But I thought I'd uh, give it a go. I'm not usually up at this sort of time, so uh, yeah, I figured uh, we're gonna give it a go. Got a long day, but I uh, yeah, I'll go to Westfield. Um, I'll check the John Lewis here as well, and then I will also go to Legoland again. So yeah, hope you find something cool. Looks like there's a little bit of a queue. Damn. They've got all the botanical collection sets. I don't think I'll get the ones I create. Bit of a dust trap. But they do look pretty cool. Um, I also really love these rare sets. Double VIP is kind of tempting, but I think they'll go like 25, 30% off on Amazon or something, and that's pick them up there. But yeah, they're cool. That is so tempting to pick up today. And so Sesame Street, but mainly Winnie the Pooh. I think that looks awesome, and I love the figures. I think if the promos were like a bit cooler, then I would have definitely picked that up. But oh, I don't know. I don't know. No diners, but they do have um, assembly square, corner garage, and a bookshop. They also have a Disney castle as well. But I think the corner garage is the next to retire. Tempted to get it as an investment. It's, it's definitely the least impressive one, I think. I don't know. Then I'm not really a fan of Assembly Square, so what do I know about my first right? Brick Clicker, what are you doing here, mate? You should be at college, didn't you? So, down with the Lego store, and uh, after not thinking I was going to buy anything, you can't walk out of a Lego store without buying anything, can you? This happened. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, I shouldn't really go to Legoland, but I feel like I've said it now, so 
I gotta head there now, get some food and then head there. So I've just come in the Disney store and these X-Men jumpers are half price. They are absolutely sick. There's like a print on the back as well. Pretty much like that. And I've also got caps down there too, so it looks like I've had a nice in my collection. I forgot there was John Lewis here and it is open, it's not one of the ones that closed down, so I don't think there's anything I want to buy. That for £32 isn't actually still. Anyone should get that. Got a couple of the rice sets, but no, they're full price. Got some hidden side still, inside the lighthouse. Pretty cool, £45, but nothing special here, nothing really reduced too much. I got the boat for £95, but I've seen it go for like 70 so I'm definitely not going to pay that. <laughs> Uh, I got some Star Wars stuff. Um, Harry Potter books discounted. I got the Great Hall and the Clock Tower, but yeah, nothing, uh, nothing really to rave about, I don't think. I always hope that when these uh, shopping centers have Lego stores, that um, they might have some old stuff because everyone just goes to the Lego store for, for Lego. They don't come to, uh, come to the store. Things like that. Hmm. Champions is always a good investment. There's some around the front here. Hmm. Nah, I don't think there's anything I want after Legoland. There was an unusual amount of people getting buggies. People have obviously been popping out kids over lockdown in need of a new buggy. Now they can go out. <laughs> that was funny. Made it to Legoland. The sun is shining. I cannot believe it was snowing this morning. It's ridiculous. Well hot. Maybe too hot in the jumper, but yeah, so you can go to the big shop and uh, hopefully find some retired stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully they're not at full capacity and they can't let me in. But uh, I think uh, I saw some cars going out on the way out, so it should be fine. I'm only going to own it as well, so that should be all good. Um, I'm wearing jeans. This is the first time. I've wore jeans outside the house in like, well, just full stop in like well over a year. I've been in them all day. So, go me, surprised to still fit, but <laughs> back to the subject. There we go. I'm pretty sure this guy looks new, and uh, I think the Lego shops have been uh, redecorated. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's definitely all new. I do love this place. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be here later in the summer sometime. So they've completely redone the shop and it looks sick. It looks so cool in here and they got like a uh, pick a brick at the back. So I'm gonna go have a look at that in a second. Um, but yeah, there's loads of stuff. No, I've just had a quick walk around, nothing like jumping out at me. Um, there is some Harry Potter stuff. I'm gonna pick up a Boba Tan's Courage for, um, for Tommy, because he wanted that. Um, they do have some of the road base plates, but it's the uh, turning ones, so that's really worth it. Got all the Disney stuff, got, uh, yeah, there's a Harry Potter stuff. Um, the only thing I think worth getting is one from Willow and the carriage. I might pick up a carriage, I don't know yet, uh, but I'll definitely get one with Tommy. But yeah, they got loads of cool stuff. They were selling a load of their stuff online at the beginning of lockdown, so. That's why there's not tons of retired stuff, but yeah, not a bad selection, but it looks sick in here. And the fact that they got pick a brick in here now is, is really cool. So I had to get checked that out. I definitely paid more than £85 for that boat. It's kind of annoyed. <laughs> got some cool friends stuff. Some of the uh, like fun fair stuff. So that's pretty cool. That's really cool. I saw Kevin and bought toys playing with that the other day on his stream. Got a lot of friends stuff. Credit where credit's due on this one. Fair play and jogging. This one looks sick. I'll definitely be picking that up at some point, but not today. Not for retail. Looks <laughs> like they got some hidden side stuff here. Uh, they got the shrimp shack. Oh, I might have to get the shrimp shack. 
Uh, they got the ghost train, and then they've got the high school, a couple of other small sets and stuff, but I really not fussed about the high school, I don't think. I don't know. Uh, I think I will have to pick up the stream track though, everyone raves about it. So uh, yeah, 25% off as well, I'm to get that. And here's the good stuff. Unfortunately not getting any of it today, because obviously no double VIP points or any VIP points at all here, so be skipping on this, but still need those three along the bottom. Um, and then I think I've got everything else that they've got here at least. I can't think of anything on the top of my head, things I need. I've got all of those, all of those, all of those, so yeah. Just those three sets and I'm pretty outside with monkey gear, it's pretty good, but yeah. They can up to like £14 here, but they do have some 1x4 light bluish grey bricks, so I think we're just going to get tons of those, so I think it's going to be still beneficial um, to get those, so I'm going to head and do that, and then uh, get going, I think. So, uh, I got some, some explaining to do here. Oopsies! <laughs> kind of went a bit crazy. It's just, I'm a sucker for... Just Lego, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. Some of it's not all of it's for me, but uh, most of it kind of is. Some of it's investment though, so should get some good returns on some of it. But uh, yeah, oops. Um, I think that should be me done for the day. I think there is like a little independent toy store in the little town I live in, um, or the nearest town to where I live. And uh, I was gonna go hop in there because it'll be their first day of opening, so I might go in there. There was also another shop that I was going to go in, um, but they're doing like a grand reopening because they've just moved their location. So I will probably go in there on Saturday when they do that. Um, oh, my mask is slipping down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I might pop in that shop. I also need to go to uh, Ikea. So I'm going to hop in there because I want to get some units, but I think I'll probably just go have a look um, and not buy anything today because I spent too much on Lego. <laughs> oh, my poor bank. I now don't know where my car is, oops, but uh, yeah, I love going in there, I think I saw Matt Elder, I think I saw Solar Brick Builder as well, um, from a distance, <laughs> uh, so I couldn't say hello, but yeah, busy, uh, eyes on the prize, yeah, let's, uh, let's see where the vlog takes us next. I'm really not convinced this is the future of Lego storage. It's like a cool box. Nah, not for me. So I'm in Ikea and these... In Ikea and this was the cabinet that I wanted to get, but I thought the glass shelf continued all the way across, but it's actually two separate things, which is really annoying. So I was gonna get two of those and then put one of those in the middle. The ones without the glass doors, they're like all the way across. Um, I really want to run the glass doors, so I don't know what to do. I wasn't going to get them today anyway, but I wanted to have a look. So I'm glad I did. I did just buy them online, because that would have been annoying. I don't think I'll get any of the big sets in there. I don't even think that would fit like Half Root Mountain in. I don't know. Ugh, back to the drawing board. So I'm now back from all the shopping and I am absolutely shattered. As you can probably tell from my eyes, don't look good. But um, yeah, really annoyed about that stuff from Ikea. I can't get that because I really wanted to start organising this room a bit more in the, in the next couple of weeks. But that's not going to be happening. Um, I'm going to be making a new bed tomorrow. Um, I've got some materials to do that and then I can store a lot of the boxes underneath so that'll be good um in some of the least and uh yeah i still need to get some more of these boxes up into the attic space but yeah um i'm actually shattered and all the stuff i bought is in the car so i will show you at some point tomorrow so do we resume the vlog there okay so if you made it this far in the video then you are probably eagerly anticipating what i purchased so we'll start first off with some non-legged things a couple of things i got from ikea one was this 25 centimeter um santa head frame this has replaced the river frame the box frame um and this is the frame that i'm going to be using for my future mosaics for my figures so I've got the 25 by 25 centimeter one and i also picked up the 35 by 35 i just wanted to get them um and so i had the measurements i 
wanted to go into Ikea anyway to uh, check on some shelving units and stuff. So that's why I picked these up. And uh, yeah, I can start working on mosaics on studios and getting the ones that I've already made to the correct sizes now. So at the Watford Lego store, there were a lot of promos that they were giving away. So I'll show you those first. I ended up with two of these Ninjago poly bags. Not quite sure who that is, Lloyd. Okay, that's Lloyd's quad bike. So I got two of those. Two of the Lego City police helicopters. Don't really care for any of those, but cool to get free gifts, right? Um, I also got an Amelia Earhart promo. And I got a ice rink promo. Again, I've got both of those, so not really fussed with them. Um, but cool to have, I can sell on at some point when they end up going up in value again. Um, but now to the sets or um, just other things I got to qualify. So there was a full box or what looked like a full box of video um, there and I needed three more of the figures. So I'm hoping that I got the right three. Um, I used the, um, the location box method thing that everyone that's been going around. Uh, so hopefully I got the last three I needed. I was frantically looking through the stream that I did with Sai, opening them, seeing which ones I needed because I didn't prepare for getting them, but it was to try to get me over the threshold. Um, I also got a tulip set, that's for Paige. So Paige, that's coming your way. Um, I got four cups of pick a brick, um, one cup of two by six uh, light bluish gray, one of one by two dark bluish gray tiles, um, one of these um, tan one by two by two slopes. They'll be cool for mocks and stuff. Um, and also a tub of uh, two by six tan bricks as well. So they're really cool. Glad to have those in the parts collection. Um, we call for some upcoming mocks and stuff. Um, two other promos I did get. Um, I ended up getting one, two Monster Book of Monsters promos. So uh, maybe you can tell where this is going or what at least the theme on some of these last couple of sets might be. But I picked up the clock tower. And I also picked up the Great Hall. Okay, I bought too much stuff. <laughs> I can't get it all in the shot. There's Great Hall and uh, yeah, the Clock Tower. So um, the Great Hall is definitely an investment set. I have no um, interest in opening that, but that is gonna be retiring in about June, I think. Uh, so that was a good one to get as an investment set. Now the Clock Tower is one that I've kind of been I'm in an iron with, like, will I build it? Will I not? I don't know. I thought I'd get it because of those Monster Book of Monsters promos. I think they'll be a good buy. Um, but I really like the figures in the Clock Tower. Um, and I've got quite a few of the other Goblet of Fire sets. So I kind of just wanted to have it just in case. I do decide to build it one day, but I mean, I don't really intend on getting any of the other Harry Potter sets, so I probably won't. Who knows, we'll see. Um, what's comes worse, I just take the figures out and uh, part out the, the pieces because there's some pretty cool pieces in there. So that was what I got from the Watford Lego store. Now onto what I got from Westfield. So we'll go through the promos again. Much the same, um, a couple more actually, but the Lego City Polar Bag and the uh, Lloyd's Quad Bike. Then nothing too interesting. We've got um, Amelia Earhart promo. Really got quite a few of those now. I do want to build one of them, um, but the rest I will just sell at some point. Uh, ice rink promo, again, not really caring for it, but cool to have, I guess. Um, I did get another Monster Book of Monsters promo. Um, and then the Westwood store was also uh, giving away this little poly bag, this little chick in the egg, which is pretty cute, but again, not really sure what I'd do with it. And the, um, the Carrot House Bunny promo. Kind of cool, not really fast for it again, probably sell it at some point. But, uh, but yeah, now onto the sets. So I got, we'll go with these, okay. So as you guys are aware, the Lego Disney Brickheads have ended up going for quite a bit of money on the aftermarket, the Mickey and Minnie ones anyway. Um, and they are gonna be releasing some more Brickheads. 
uh, Disney ones. I think we're getting like Scrooge and Huey Dewey Louie maybe. Um, so I wanted to pick up these because I think in the future they were going to be worth a fair bit of money, especially Donald um, with those other characters. So I wanted to pick up those, uh, it was double VIP points, um, so I just thought, uh, heck yeah, I'll get them. Um, I do like the boxes of these, not something I'm particularly interested in though, so I doubt I'll ever build them, but cool to have as like a Lego Disney fan. Um, but yeah, I'm sure down the line in a few years, I'll just sell them at some point. Um, and then to get that monster book of monsters promo, I ended up getting, <laughs> Another great haul. Like I said, it's going to be retiring this year in June, um, and it will be one that people that are getting into Harry Potter in like a couple of months will miss out on, and it's one of the main ones, and they probably won't redo it for a few years in this style. Um, so yeah, cool set to have um, for investment, and because I got that Monster Book and Monsters promo, even if I sell it at retail, anything I make on the Monster Book and Monsters promo is. Um, is obviously profit plus the double VIP points. So that's why I wanted to pick up that. And yeah, that is what I ended up buying from Westfields. So it's just doing the maths there. And uh, yeah, something wasn't adding up to get all those promos. Um, it's because I actually forgot uh, a bag. They put these two pick a brick cups in uh, a separate bag. Uh, so I just see them across the room. But these have got um, two by four uh, tan plates in. Um, and this one had a mix of two by four and two by three templates. So I wanted to get those. Um, and in Westfields, don't really know why they didn't do this at Watford, but Westfields gave me a free scoop. Um, and the guy asked me like what some of my favorite parts were on the um, on the pad wall were. Uh, if I'd known he was actually gonna go through and uh, give me a piece of these, I probably would've just sent more templates. <laughs> but uh, he gave, uh, we got a scoop of the glass pieces um, and a scoop of these gold um one by one bricks don't really know what they're called but they've got like that cool little edging on them so that's pretty cool um but yeah i'm not really sure what you're using them for but more town bricks are always good for mocks and stuff and now on to land where i was really hoping my spending was going to slow down but it kind of didn't um so first up I got Tommy Seabricks, uh, the Bobaton's carriage. I know it was the one set that he was missing from the Harry Potter 2018 line, I think. So I, uh, I texted him and he said he wanted it. We spoke a bit before about it. Um, and he's also collecting an Iron Man figures, I think, at the moment. So I got him that poly bag. So that was like, quite cool. But I'll move those out of the way because not technically mine. Um, but for me, I ended up buying a lot of Harry Potter today. Um, and these are investments. I bought three of the Bobaton's carriage because they're already worth like 70 quid on eBay um, and I paid retail for them. So uh, really cool set. I actually was scrounging to get these before. I think I found a good deal on eBay maybe um, just after they retired. So I'm glad I got one for myself, but yeah, three of these to add to the uh, investments collection. Pretty, pretty cool. Those were. So I also went to the new pick a brick section at the Legoland uh, big store. Um, they were definitely a bit scroungy with the amount of parts they put in these, which is kind of annoying, but I just got these um, 4x4 uh, tan plates, a lot of tan bricks and plates today, um, but I mainly got them for these pieces because I think I'm going to be using them in my mock um, when I'm converting the Heart Lake City Cinema into a modular um, or mockumentary with Claire and Kevin. So they will be cool to have. I saw those and I was like, okay, definitely need to get some of those. Um, and then I just got four cups of the one by four light bluish gray bricks. Uh, again, I will probably end up using those in the mock rather than the light aqua bricks because they are quite expensive. So I figured I'd get a load of those. And uh, yeah, they're like I said, light bluish gray bricks are always good for mocks. And a theme that I thought I was done and dusted with because I got all the sets that I wanted, I thought at least. Um, but since it's retired, everyone and their dog has been talking about how good the Shrimp Shack attack is. Uh, so I caved and I did buy it. Um, technically there is a vehicle in it. So maybe I can get out of it on the technicality because I wanted to collect all the hidden side vehicles. I ended up getting them all. Um, but yeah, everyone talks about the Shrimp Shack Attack. It's 25% off retail, really good deal. Everyone says it's the best hidden side set. So I figured I'd pick that up. 
and I also picked up from Hidden Side a set that I was like, no, I really don't want. Like, I really wanted the castle. They didn't have the castle there. Um, but there is a really cool mock of this on Rebrickable that's turned it into a modular, and that's kind of something that I'm into at the moment. Um, so I got the Haunted High School. So I will be building that modular version, most probably. I might build it as the set was intended first and then turn into the modular, just so I got that experience. But yeah, for the most part, just really want it for that modular. I want to have like a row of custom modulars, I think. Hence why I'm doing that. Um, Heart Lake City Cinema conversion with Kevin and Claire as well. So yeah, that was all my spending for the day. I obviously got that jumper that you guys saw from the Disney store and the hat as well. They're really cool, but that was all my Lego. So guys, that's gonna wrap things up for the vlog today. Thank you all for joining me on my journey and going to find loads of retired Lego sets. I spent way more than I should have probably, but uh, it was good fun and I love doing vlogs. So if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It's all appreciated and I can't wait to do more throughout the upcoming uh, months. Now we can start going out in the UK. It's been really nice to uh, get out and stuff. So yeah, look forward to more vlogs because I really enjoyed doing them. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions, thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.